I'm Cathy Silver and I'm Professor of Educational Psychology at the University of Oxford in the Department of Education. This has really been one of the treats of my last two years. Um, I work with a wonderful team at the um, Sutton Trust and Esme Fairburn um, and Oxford has a contract with Sutton and Esme and we're evaluating uh, the parent app called Easy Peasy. Well, Easy Peasy is an app um, and it consists of a series of games. Uh, you see wonderful YouTube clips of children playing with their parents and the games are all different actually. I think it, it's one of the, the uh, beauties of Easy Peasy. They're quite varied. Uh, some are about music, some are about physical activities, some are things that you might, projects that you might do together. So it's just a series of filmed games that are sent to parents on their phone and they look at them and if they want to try them with their children, I think Easy Peasy makes them as inviting as possible, but in the end it's up to the parent. Um, there are many types of evaluations um, and when a program is very, very new or you just have an idea about it, um, you, you'll get your um, information about how it's working in much more informal ways. And as evaluations get more and more objective and scientific, um, they get more specific about which individuals they, they study. Um, they get to have a control group, a comparison group, which in the very early days you don't, you don't need that. I mean all that, that kind of technology is expensive, it's not necessary in the very beginning. But as a program gets more and more mature and as it's, um, it's offered to more and more different kinds of people, there's the need then for a, a bigger, more technical evaluation. In evaluation science, we think of the randomized control trial as the gold standard. It's kind of the BMW model, and the other ones are kind of bicycles, like I ride to work on. It's quite clear that there were two real improvements and gains in the group that had had the app. So, two groups, early starters and late starters, they both filled out the questionnaires pre-intervention, pre post-intervention, and then we looked. And that was one of the changes that we saw, that parents who had had Easy Peasy downloaded the app and played the games at home. They somehow were able to work with their child in a way that made it more routines around the house more harmonious. Um, get, getting on, it doesn't mean imposing your will on a child, but it means working in a collaborative way. You are the grown-up, they are the child, so you know what time you have to go to Rands, but working in a, in a kind of positive and constructive way to keep to routines and disciplines. Uh, the other part of the evaluation, on the child side, because we've talked about the parent side, but on the child side, uh, the child's what we call cognitive self-regulation improved. And I've written down so um, the, the items, persisting with task, liking to do things, liking that sense of achievement, but knowing to get that sense of achievement, you really have to kind of work a little bit hard. And some psychologists have called this grit. It's kind of the grit to stick to it, to do it, and, and then to get the, the great joy in the end. And it looks like from this study that Easy Peasy really has increased the school readiness of these young children. And if, that, if it did that, then it's amazing. <laughs>